So good, good morning, um, and and thanks thanks to to Netroots uh, for for letting me talk here. Um, just a few remarks because I think we're going to mostly do discussion. Um, I want to say a couple of things. Uh, first, I do have this. I do have the D word in the title of my book. Um, why why depression? Why why not something you know milder and more reasonable? Um, part of the answer is I think that we need we really need to understand that. Uh, there's a difference between the uh, the ups and downs um, of of you know the business cycle. Re a recession, um, roughly speaking, is a recession is when things are heading down. Um, a depression. We don't have a formal definition, but I'd say a depression is is when things are down, uh, when when things are terrible for an extended period of time. That was the Great Depression. There were periods of official recovery. Uh, during the, the Great Depression. It wasn't all recessions, but it was, you know, obviously horrible. Um, and so it is again today. It's not as, it's not as bad as the Great Depression. Uh, there, there's a winning slogan, you know, not as, not as bad as the Great Depression. Um, but it's, it's, it's incredibly awful. And uh, it's, um, you, you probably, you know, we all, we, if you don't know multiple people who are suffering, then you must be living in a very rarefied uh, environment. You must be, well, maybe a member of the Romney clan or something. But you're, uh, um, there, there are about four million Americans who, American workers who've been out of work for more than a year, which is something that has not happened since the 30s. Um, there is incredible suffering among, among young people trying to get their lives started. Every time I see some politician or pundit saying, oh, you know, we need to think about the death and about the burden on the children, think, you know, what about the young people right now who, who can't get their lives properly started? Um, there's, um, so it is really terrible. And it's, uh, it, it's, it's a, a problem, of course, across the entire uh, advanced world. Um, but uh, in many ways, well, it, it's, there, there are, it's terrible in me, but it's certainly incredibly bad here. Um, and the thing about it is that it's not at, none of this has to be happening. This is not one of those things where, you know, we, we didn't have a plague of locusts. Um, we were not hit by a tsunami. Uh, we, there, there, there wasn't some act of God that created this, this terrible situation. Um, it was acts of man. Um, and perhaps even more important right now, it's easily solvable. The, we, we've seen this movie before. We know how this works. The, uh, uh, it's been an interesting thing here because it, you, you tend to think that, well, people, people who are demanding that we solve this thing quickly must be you know, crazy idealists who are, are um, defying the wisdom of, of economic knowledge. Um, but it's actually the other way around. It's actually the people in charge who are refusing to end this thing quickly, who are ignoring the lessons of history and rejecting, um, rejecting economic knowledge that we know uh, from 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 history. Uh, this is, uh, you know, if there if there are there are some lessons that we learned. I thought I thought we had learned really well, which are things like, do not slash government spending and lay off hundreds of thousands of workers in the middle of a depression. I thought we knew that, um, and yet. Um, and yet we've been ignoring all of that hard-earned knowledge. Um, I, um, uh, I, I actually have seen an advance of the, uh, of, of the review that will come out in the New York Times. Uh, you should know that the New York Times book review is, is run by Sam Tannenhaus, who is very much a neocon and, and, and will, makes, makes a point whenever a, a progressive comes out with a book to find someone who will, who will attack it. And it's not really an attack, but, it's, but the reviewer is shocked at the lack of respect I show for for uh, for for highly respected people, I think he uses that phrase, like like um, uh, Erskine Bowles and Alan Simpson, and um, uh, um, and and I, I, there's a phrase I picked up. I don't know. Is Duncan Black here? I don't know. But anyway, there's a phrase I picked up from from uh, from Duncan Black, A.K.A. Atrios, um, that that has I love and and use you know applies to everything, which is very serious people capital V, capital S, capital P. Um, and what we've had is, uh, we've been living under the tyranny of the very serious people who are partly defending class interests and partly just plain getting it wrong. 
just, ref just going with their prejudices instead of what we know, what we know from, from textbook economics, what we know from 80 years of historical experience and are messing this up. And we could solve this. It's a, it, the, solving this depression is not fundamentally an economic problem. It's a political problem. It's a problem of, of getting the, if you like, getting those very serious people out of the way and doing what, what, uh, what we actually already know, which is why gatherings like this are important. Thank you all. Thanks.